hi aries welcome back to the channel aries the emperor here i am back with another general reading for all of my aries collective if you guys are new here welcome this is an all aries channel for all of my aries placements cross watchers you are welcome as well to everyone just take in mind that this reading may or may not resonate with you and that is okay never force the reading and thank you to all of you who like and subscribe to the channel. I'm grateful for your comments, your shares, your donations. To those of you who book personal sessions with me and shop the candle shop. I am working um, to get your orders out, both personal readings. Um, I have quite a few, so thank you guys for your patience. Okay, so we're going to jump into this reading today and see what messages come out for you. Sun is in Leo moon is in Sagittarius I don't know why I'm getting like the, the word spontaneous all right things could be happening out of the blue for some of you guys um, Mercury retrograde um, has definitely been ooh, one for the books okay something so interesting happened to me today I lost all of my hair Okay, uh, it wasn't on on purpose. Um, it was an accident. So that could be significant to you, um, to those of you who are going through chemo treatments at this time here, or um, just any skin um, issues that you may have, alopecia, alopecia areata. Am I saying that right? That that comes to mind as well. So anybody out there that could be significant to you if you've lost your hair, my heart definitely is going out to you. Um, as well as healing energy being sent to you as well, okay? We're going to keep it pushing. Ain't nothing I can do about it, but grow it back, right? So um, let's get into it. Let's see what messages come out for y'all for real, so. All right, spirit. Ooh, the lovers. Secret lover is what you want to be <laughs> knight of cups um this is uh what is knight of cups knight of cups is scorpio energy it's like somebody sometimes they can overshare their emotions or their feelings with you um somebody that's really intense and and, and um really serious wow the knights are they're not kings um but the lovers is definitely out here somebody would maybe like to to step up and be something more in your life or somebody would like to become closer to you and build something with you um someone would like to be back in alignment with you somebody would just like to be around you i feel like this is an energy whether this is somebody that you are unaware of or and are yet to um come into contact with or just somebody that you no longer are in contact with this could be you loving yourself here the way that you are you know self-love is the best love this is self-care as well um, this is um, when you connect with source and you become one. And this could all be energies that you guys could be indulging in at this time here, okay? And successfully tapping into it with the six of wands is what you don't see coming in at the bottom of the deck here. What other messages, spirit? Messages for Aries. But even if this is a tough time, just try and love if you can't love nobody else just try and love and be nice to yourself Aries that's the the best thing that you can do is start with you and people may feel a way because you choosing you you choosing yourself it's always gonna be like that you know but um you came in this world alone you gonna leave out and it's very important that you go where you love and you appreciate it and not just tolerate it with this devil energy because you're never going to win with the devil. It's always some type of fine print um, that the devil is going to make sure that you miss. There's always some level um, or some tactic against you um, to where it may look like you may come out winning in a situation, especially if this is a relationship with somebody. But you always end up coming to the realization that I had, I'm getting a short end of the stick in this situation or I'm not getting fed from this spiritually, mentally, um, physically um so you have the king of pentacles as well yeah and you're worth everything it, especially being front and center in the camera this is what this is giving me so i always say you have star quality 
but somebody is having an issue. Like somebody just may be somebody that don't love themselves. So they find it hard to just accept you for you and love you. They find it hard to be proud of you. You know, they find it hard to love you and, and it not be toxic. You know, this is just somebody that may be playing the blame game when it comes to you. You know, this could be a, a, an issue with people um, because you post pictures or, or you know, you somebody who has great taste. Um, you steal the show. You know, you are an, an, a natural is what I'm getting at things here. Um, it, you're unforgettable. It's, it's like a movie when, when actors play in a movie and then it, it's released. That's there forever. That's how you are. That's how you're coming across to somebody or somebody's here. Um, and they don't like it. They're not really happy about it. It's, it's like I said, it's, it's the devil here. This could be people you work with. Um, this could be somebody that you lay with. Um, or this could be just somebody that's hating on you and still obsessing over you. It's like you got the spotlight and they got the shadow. What they would like for it, they would like to call what they doing and what they have a spotlight, but it's just not that, you know, it's, it's very much so low vibrational, the way that it comes across and the way that people may be trying to project, project onto you. Or, or hell, they may see you in this light with the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. So we have Taurus, Capricorn, and Gemini out here on the board. Knight of Pentacles. All you can do is sit back and smile, you know, and be happy that you're still here. At the end of the day, that's that's really the most that we we have control over is, is when we get to open our eyes up in the morning and thank God everything else when you step out your doors out of your control. And, and that's the energy that you may be adopting at this time here. You know, and people don't like that. You know, people want you to worry. Why are you not worried about money? Why are you not worried about, you know, being seen? And, and, and why are you not worrying about... Keeping up with the latest this and the latest that or being mixed up in the, the latest gossip um, or that sort of thing here. And even if people do talk about you, you know, one thing they, they can do is talk, um, but they can't say that you a liar. They can't say that you somebody that's, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, misleading. Um, you are somebody who is generous. And I mean, you may be somebody that pop your shit. Everybody does. You know, you should be happy about your accolades, especially if it's something that you worked hard to accumulate and attain. I mean, the King of Pentacles is that. Yeah, I worked hard for this shit. And if I need to speak on it, I will. But you're still just as humble as anybody else. I ain't gonna say anybody else. You, you are a, a very humble creature, Aries. Pentacles, Capricorn, that symbolizes growth and wisdom. I mean, and as well as you've had to deal with a lot of different situations and a lot of them may have been uh, trauma filled, whether it was just the experience itself or the individual, you still are, are coming across as, as very wise and very stable. Let me say that it's more stable than most that would like to portray it. And I feel like that may be an issue for somebody. They can't just call you out and, and call you, you, you a spade, you call a spade a spade, you a spade, baby, six of wands. Sagittarius energy. I can't make it up. Full course meal, baby. How you want it? Sauteed, boiled, baked, fried, roasted. So did I say sauteed? Scrambled. Add cheese on it. How you want it? Aries asking. Because that's how you deliver. You know what I'm saying? It's giving that type of energy. The devil don't like that. But I bet you the devil would like to come sit at your table and, and get a little taste of your food and a little bit of your action. Ride a little bit of your wave. Feel a little bit of your motion. Y'all don't hear me. I'm talking to somebody and somebody else mad because of it. Some of y'all could be good in the kitchen. Like I said, good behind the camera, good in front of the camera. Some of you guys could be exceptional lovers. Four of Pentacles. Just mm, mm, mm. Finger looking, looking good. <laughs> this is just, a, it's a, a four. Normally is energy of stability. 
normally though the four of pentacles could symbolize some type of blockage here whether this is someone trying to block you or this is you yourself blocking yourself from something that is already yours you know you just got to take flight you just got to take the, the the first leap you know the first step this is getting i feel like to a space of just contentment you know or at least that being the start of it and this is i see a lot of you guys maybe going to get your hair done your nails done you know a, a massage you know just your favorite coffee some of you guys could have been fasting um or or you know just gearing up to cook your favorite meals or you could like i said here be someone that's um you work in a restaurant or you own a restaurant or, or food is just something in your family that's passed down i'm getting these really good meals some of them could be italian the full car aries but it's you it's you <laughs> It's you. Why they want to humble you? Yeah. You giving witchy poo vibes? Witchy white witch? Some people may say you're sneaky. Some people may call you calculated. I mean, but hey. What do they expect when you're dealing with individuals like this? You know, a star needs to be protected at all costs. Even if motherfuckers think they are a fool. Use an important one, an important fool. You know, you don't just talk about it. That's why she's like, shh, on the card, because what is there to talk about? You see me flying on this broom up here, uh, damn near close to the roof type energy. So what is there to talk about? You see it. Now run, tell the others. Is the energy that I'm getting here, Aries. You taking center stage and motherfuckers mad. Oh, well. Oh, well. King of Wands. Leo energy. Yeah, strength card. Leo energy. Double Leo energy. You could have Leo aspect in your natal chart, but Leo owns the camera, the spotlight, the exposure, the attention, the looks. The vibes, the motion. And guess what? People hate Leo so bad that they have the nerve to want to try and physically take him out. And that's what the strength card is giving. Baby, you somebody that you're not scared. You will get physical. But that's not who you really are. You are fiery. But I feel like you're very controlled. And a lot of you guys are working to alchemize that. You know, everybody has a temper, not just Aries. But somebody I feel like would like to kind of, kind of paint you out to be extra. Maybe you are extra. Shit. Last time I checked, the saying goes, extra, extra, read all about it. And and it, don't everybody read the, the newspaper? It's in the form of a cell phone these days. But hell, it's still the news. They still tuning in. And it's still about you, period. The Tower, Aries Energy. Spirit ain't playing today. The Two of Cups and the Two of Swords, uh, Libra Energy and Cancer Energy also flipped over. So I'll just give you guys a peek if I didn't already. My mind is moving like a million paces at once. So sometimes I say things and forget that I said it because I'm trying to catch the next thing without forgetting <laughs> if I don't say it fast enough. All right, well, we got the, the tower, the two of cups. Oh, yeah, salty, okay? You the sugar, you the cream in somebody's black coffee, um, and it don't taste the same without you. You know, the, the spot don't feel the same without you. The conversation is not the same um, if it's not with you. Two of swords, you know, and, and it comes to a point, and it may take you a while, but when you get there mentally, when you check out on a motherfucker, that's it. It's really nothing else to talk about. And like I said, they're going to feel that fire and they, that fury along with that, with you exiting when you really get ready to leave because you're somebody who's very forgiving. And yeah, like I said, you may get pissed off, but Aries, when Aries gets pissed off, you say what you got to say, you get out what you need to get out and you move the fuck on. You don't stay stuck planted in that energy here because 
for what? You got so much fire in you. It's like burning fumes off, burning gas off. You know, you, you can go somewhere and recharge and, and refuel and get back out there and see things from a whole nother different level or, or perspective. And people still want to call you the fool in that. Because you don't exercise it or verbalize it the way that others may do it around you. You're not supposed to. What other messages, Spirit? I'm not going to make this reading too long. I might try and come back and do another one. I'm trying to get out personal readings um, as well. A few more tonight. Um, two of Wands. Aries energy. But you all over this. You pop in. You live and you direct. You smoking. <laughs> I watched The Mask the other night. It brought back so many memories. And when uh, that one particular line, smoking, Aries, is you. And literally, look at this. Like this um, factory in the background, the smoke coming from it. Yeah, where well, there's smoke, there's fire. And then motherfuckers realizing that. It's Aries energy. Once you get your mind right, keep working on yourself, Aries. You, you are that powerhouse. You know, you are that one. You Leo in, in, I mean, you Neo in the Matrix. Huh, the sun, the queen of pentacles, can't make it up. That rats all around you. Ooh. These are, I feel like this like energy of, of people, it, it's giving like um, people trying to figure out something about you. People trying to ex not, not maybe expose anything, but this may be chatter about involving you with someone in a relationship, becoming friends with, um, co connecting with. There's something you and someone else is being mentored. There's some type of power. Uh, then I don't, it could be a power couple type of dynamic that someone is seeing or someone is looking or judging you as, or looking at you as something that they didn't see you doing or connecting with or committing to in some way, shape or form. And it's still being something that has not fallen apart. Um, and it's just giving the energy of people that they don't want to be seen, but, but they are paying very much attention here. It's like I said, it's a, it's a rat down here. So clearly somebody's running their mouth about you and they ain't got no business doing it. So, or it's a snake or a, literally a rat in your corner somewhere here. Some of y'all could have a, my, uh, um, a mouse issue right now, or literally you, you got a rat problem. But I don't feel like this anything that slows you down physically. If anything, this may be something mentally or emotionally. And it's more so you are the subject, okay? Not the, you're not, they're on the outside looking in. You're not worried about this. You know what it is, whatever this is. Don't let nobody question you about it and, or make you second guess anything that you got going on, whether this is you loving somebody loving to do something, going after something, something being exposed about you, like, like coming out, for example. Um, but this is contentment. This is your actual alignment. You started off with it, and this is one of the last cards to come out. And, I mean, either way it goes here. The moon, they're the ones hiding. Okay. Not you. Somebody could be self-medicating. You have people that come in your energy and they they plot on how not to get kicked out of it. But <laughs> they may not be the most positive people for you when they know that. Like people know that, that, that um, they not shit sometimes. And they still won't be the bigger person and take accountability and remove themselves here. You know, they're going to see how many chances you're going to give them and how much you're going to take. That's where the devil comes in once again. And some people expect like to slow you down or, you know, to drain your energy and you not be who you are anymore. That's why it's important. Like as this spread is spelling out for you guys to continue to stand in that with the queen of wands energy and your confidence and in your calling and your purpose. Okay. Even if that's keeping yourself sane from day to day, baby, 
do it. Okay. Practice it. I'm going to leave this reading here, Aries. Hit that like and subscribe button for more messages from me. I love you guys as always. Like I mentioned, um, if I can, I'm going to try and come back on here. I know I owe you guys a live reading. I'll try and get um, do that before the week is out as well. Thank you guys so much. I love you as always. Take care. Mwah. Ciao.